good morning. Hey, you guys. I made it. I made it all the way to the next morning. Got some thunder going down. Um, I had I raced one of those things. I just didn't know that I liked it so much as, as I did the second one. Sorry if somebody watched that. Now they have to go through something like that all over again. All right. We'll try not to do that ever again. But some things just get away from me here. All right. So we are now on Revelations 3. All right. I just finished reading it. Okay. And um, yes, it is going to talk about um, it's the last few chakras that we that he has to write letters to. And this is, of course, going to be um, above the heart. This is the, um, the the throat chakra. And then we also would later on have the window or the door itself, the sixth chakra. Okay. <clears throat> and so I'm going to go right to this. We're going to get right into the lesson. Okay. All right. Revelations 3. Revelations 3 is going to be this idea of hooking up with the Lord, but he's also going to say it's at the same time, as listen, you know, you are a dead person, so let's check this out, see how it reads. All right, and it tells us all along, you know, every now and then on the six areas and stuff like that, we are taught, we are asked to, uh, to listen, to see the things, or to hear the things that the, the Spirit has to say. All right, so keep your ears open. And unto the angel, the church of Sardis, write, These things say is he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, and I know thy name, that thou livest and art dead. All right. This is the conversation here is that he's knowing this is the beginning. He's going to set the whole thing up that, you know, hey, you know, I know you, I know you, I know you are alive but i know that you're also like i know you're dead we're gonna fix that all right because that's that's what all this is about all right be watchful and strengthen the things which remain and are ready to die for i have not found thy works perfect before god this is number two is talking about his creation he's wanting you to you know Strengthen those things that remain. I do not know this. You know, he says, number three is, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. Thou shalt not know what hour I come upon thee. This is the three, this is the idea of this rapture coming about because when he knows that you're practicing and he knows that you're doing it and you're standing watch, that's what that means to stand watch. Then, you know, it's like the, one of the stories he says, you know, if I've known you've been there and I know you've been there, one of these days I'm just going to sneak in and get you. You know, he's just going to take you. And that's what this is about. He has considered you've done your works. All right. Number four. It says here, Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Now, for walk with me in white, they're talking about a color. This is over there on the spiritual side. This is when you get to wear the white. You get to have the white horse. Everything about that idea is you get to go this direction with him. Number five, he that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and uh, and will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Of course, this is five. Five is talking about the body itself, the physical side of things. And so we're looking at it. We're looking at this thing as this garment, this idea that these these. these garments the garments the garments are your is your soul this is what you have left all right and number uh number six 
he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. This is number six. You've got to be able to sow and understand understand what of the word is. You know, this is you know the word now. If you know the word, then you should hear some of this stuff. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, write these things. These things saith he that is holy. He that is true. He that hath the key of David. He that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. That's an interesting thing. That's number seven. Number seven is that particular door, that window, that that place that no man can open because you can only do it by spirit. All right. And it says here, number eight, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. Do you understand how that works? For thou hast little strength. It's a little child. It's the only thing that can open this door. Number nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come to worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Very interesting. Ten. Because thou hast kept thy word of my patience, all right, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, try them that dwell upon the earth. That's number ten. Number eleven. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. This is number 11. 11 is representing two. He doesn't want them. See, this is this idea that when you go this other route, you will get this crown. He is giving you this crown when you go this other route, when you hook up with the Lord. He says that no man can open. Only this child can open. All right. 12. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon his name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. This is scripture 12, and so with this here, you have, this is those people that overcome it you have to overcome the earth you have to overcome the outside of the world in order to make this and that's what they're talking about um number 13 he that hath the ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches this is number four unto the churches remember the churches are the chakras system all right, and that's uh, the kingdoms that we're talking about. All right, we have number 14. And unto the angel of the church of Laodicea writes, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of creation of God. Now, what number do you think this is? Number 14, talking about our body. This is talking about you and me. Let's see this one more again. And unto the angel of these things saith the amen. This is what you are saying as you're going through and changing and rerouting everything. All right. Number 15. I know thy works. I know thy. I know that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. Number 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. This is number seven. All right. This is number 16, actually. Number 16 becomes the seven. All right. And, of course, we talked about works on number 15. All right. Number 17. Because thou sayest, I'm rich, and increase with goods, I have needed nothing. I know it's not that thou art wretched, 
and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Number 18. I counseled, I counseled thee to buy me gold tried in fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment and thou mayest be clothed and that there be shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eyesaf that thou mayest see these are the things that he is looking to give you when you come over to this other side says this idea of being lukewarm you're not either this or rich but this idea of being rich has to be with when you are connected to the lord you are poor you are blind you are naked you are wretched and miserable when you're not connected to the lord well some people have a great time doing that and so what we have we have 19 as we start dwindling down here number 19 as many as i love I rebuke and chasten. All right. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. <clears throat> Excuse me. Repent means to turn inward, to go inside, to turn around from going outside to going inside. That's what it means. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. I will sup with him, and he with me. This is 20. This is what he is telling us. Now, 21 becomes a 3. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me at my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Number 22, the final one. He that hear he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. You guys, another wonderful, wonderful little tool, uh, 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 scripture here. Of course, learning and knowing a little bit more about the symbolism behind these stories. That you will see that, uh, let's see, the... the, the the council by the triangle by fire. Uh, number 18 is a nine. All right. He says, I counsel thee to buy me gold, tribe, and fire. All right. That thou mayest be rich. All right. And in white garment. And that thou mayest be clothed. And that you sh that and and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. <clears throat> Remember at the beginning, you know, who told you you were naked? Who told you this? You know, in the lands of Adam and Eve. It's just, um, it's the play from being on the inside or on the outside. It's just an absolute wonderful idea to go through all of these things that we're talking about nowadays. Here, where, 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 where am I at? Where are you guys? To read these things like in the, like we would in, you know, normal but at the same time understanding what it's talking about so this whole thing is about this trip that gets together when you come to get with me when you come over on this other side you're going to get your white garments you know to, <clears throat> you you're you're going to have you know all this wonderful things let's just talk about it one right after another and you're supposed to list be listening to these things as we're going along I'm going to go and learn a little bit about four before I do any more work. And we will get four out of the way <clears throat> ahead of time as we're thinking about it. Four is about worlds. It's, so far, worlds have been talking about chakras. And so this probably will give us more details on chakra. But, you know, don't give away your crown, you guys. You know, these are all beautiful and wonderful stories. And everything that we have been talking about so far has been nothing but the chakra system. And it's very interesting that here people can say, no, that's not it. <clears throat> it's this, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with chakra system. Well, listen, you guys, from one through three so far, it has been nothing but this, this, uh, the chakra system. 
this this place the midst in the midst in the midst of things this is the this is it <clears throat> and we haven't been able to say anything else all right nothing else is alluded to in this way in any way whatsoever other than it's talking about this shift from going from being uh the synagogue of satan going from that side of things over to the higher side he's just waiting just waiting to catch you one day uh meditating wanting to knock or did you understand the knock thing that was just beautiful that's that's that that was on uh what what number was that on you knock and i'll answer let's let's look back at this real fast let me see where we are got a minute it says here 20 so here he is here he's the body here's your body he's behold i stand at the door and knock so if any man hear my voice open the door and i'll come into him remember this is this idea that when you finally make it up in this place you know he dwells with you god dwells with you all these this business dwells with you heaven is at hand the new jerusalem which comes down from above is this idea that this is the new you this is the nine that comes in and be, you're now saved you're part of the part of the group that's saved all right you guys i'll let you go now all right this is just more truth being squeezed out of our bible and all you got to do is just read it learn to read it correctly and you'll see it says right in there he'll do all the stuff for you there's not not much trickery going on right now all right just read it correctly and get the supernatural crap out of your brain all right I'll chat with you later i love y'all